Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How are you going? Have you eaten yet?、Uh, today we're going to look at determinants and inverses of a two by two matrix. So first, we're going to start off with this word called transpose. The transpose of a matrix, which we write with a with a T or a dash, is obtained by swapping the rows of the columns. So if we're given this. Two by three matrix, so two rows by three columns. Then the transpose, a transpose, is whatever your first row is now becomes your column, and whatever was your first column becomes your first row. So now we have two, negative one, negative four, five, three, and eight. So originally. Our first row was two, four, five. Now that becomes our first column, two, four, five. Originally, our second row was negative one, three, eight. Our second column becomes negative one, three, eight. So now a transposed is a three by two matrix. So if a is m by n, then the transpose is. N by M, switching the、uh, rows and columns around. Another word is symmetric. So we call a matrix a matrix. Let me spell that correctly. A matrix is symmetric if the matrix itself is the same as a transposed. One classic example is the、uh, identity matrix. If you transpose the identity, you get the original one back. So the identity matrix is a symmetric matrix. Next, let's have a look at this thing called the determinant. So this word determinant, it only works for square matrix. We write determinant as det a, or sometimes the triangle delta.、Uh, that's the Greek. Letter delta or absolute value of or like straight line a. I prefer det a. It's much easier to remember, so you don't get yourself confused with the b squared minus four ac determinant in quadratics.、Um, it is a number. It's a single number. It's a value with the matrix. So what that means is, if your matrix is a two by two a b c d with elements like that, then the determinant of a Is written as the straight lines A, B, C, D of your matrix. So determinants, straight lines, and it is defined as A, D minus B, C. So whatever element was in the A and D position, multiply those, and you take away the product of whatever element you had in the B and C elements. So. These here are straight lines, kind of like your absolute value symbols. But look again, one symbol has multiple meanings in math depending on the context.、So